Jamaica, Jamaica. Jamaica, Jamaica. Well, we landed in Montego Bay. And we are catching our bus over to the Silver Seas Hotel. Not much of an airport. These people are amazing though. They, their service was on top of it. We were probably wandering around looking lost. And they just came up to us, handed us our names on it. Said, okay, go talk to him, go talk to him, go talk to him. And some dude grabbed their luggage, threw it on a rack, and of course expected to be tipped and walked us over here. But Come on. here we go. It's like Margaritaville is just around the corner. Well, hell, it's right here. our balcony it's our first morning in Jamaica there's a little dive operator here at the hotel so we're at the hibiscus lodge almond. they have a restaurant a hibiscus almond lodge no, excuse almond me almond tree restaurant all right, I'm a little bit off in where we're at. Yeah. Have you done that? <laughs> Got some people parasailing over here. Here's our, here's our hotel over here on the opposite side of that stonework there. But, all right, we're gonna eat breakfast, I guess. I'm gonna go over to the swing bar. You'll see Danielle swinging on uh, one of the stools in a sec. Well, it's not me, but here's Wayne swinging. All the rest of the swings here at the bar. <laughs> Although it's funny they call it a swing bar. We're over at Margaritaville. You can see the top of the cruise ship. It's called Island Village. It's called Island Village. And it has a bunch of different shops, some cool, some, all of them are over inflated I guess you could say because this is a tourist trap area, but clothing and boutiques and stuff like that, but we're going to go hit the duty free area and just wanted to get a picture of this flower, I don't know if it's a plumeria or what, but it's kind of cool. The king! There's a signature parrot, parrot head. This is our uh, first time on the beach. I went swimming real quick. The Caribbean is quite cold. And let's just focus in on the Margaritaville glass. Notice how the parrot has the Rastafarian hat and the dreadlocks. There you go, there you go. It's absolute Jamaican and they are breaking down the bounce house out here. I did not get to partake because like I said it was a little cold surprisingly in the Caribbean Sea. This is our spot and we're going to go hang out at Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. we from Margaritaville watching these cute kids play soccer. This guy here has got to be about first or second grade with dreads as long as but cute. Falls National Park. Check this guy out. <laughs> I do not mind. There's the little chapel down there. There we go. We're at the base of the falls. Everyone's doing the daisy chain and we're coming up. Guns River, this is where it lets out into the ocean. This is gonna be slow moving, but we got the trusty teams on. We're good. Oh, that's pretty neat. We 
got a crazy Jamaican guy. Everyone's dunking right here. <laughs> there you go. How'd that feel? Okay, guess what? Get somebody wet. Water fight. Water fight. Yeah. 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 That's the final area, I guess, of Dunn's River. I just saw a let out right there. But I'm gonna break out the digital camera from here on out. balcony again and we have cool cool runnings docked right out in the reef here uh, can't really call it a reef but inside of the reef you can see the line there but there's people that are getting out snorkeling I guess the uh, water is anywhere from 12 to 16 feet deep in certain spots apparently we have some reef activity going on out there otherwise this boat wouldn't be stopping there I'm assuming Governments grant a permit for the Rastafarians to use marijuana legally inside their church. Only inside their church. It is served as so called communion. I hear they call it a holy sacrament. You see, the Rastafarians highly believe in marijuana because they say it's a weed of wisdom, as it was said to be first found on King Solomon's grave. So you can imagine how full church is on a Sunday. Yes. Yeah, man. Everyone's trying to get a legal puff. How many sides does the Red Stripe bottle have? Two. No, it has two sides. The inside and the outside. <laughs> yeah, man. Can you tell what I call a small building? The outhouse. That's what you call it. I hear some people call it toilet. I call it run for it. <laughs> Everyone is checking out our bikes. Here's Danielle. Of course, she has a yellow one. And here's the mountains around us. We're hearing thunder. It's not raining yet, but I expect it to. And of course, you can see some blue sky. We're getting rain now. That is to cook their family dinner. Because around here in the mountain, people don't use gas stove. They all use the wood fire. That's the reason why they cook them. You know what I love, man? Some lightning. Jamaica, Jamaica, Jamaica.